So in GAL4 UAS, you start with two lines of flies, and one line is your GAL4 or driver line, and the other line is your UAS or reporter line. And each GAL4 line contains a GAL4 gene, which codes for a GAL4 protein, as well as a tissue-specific promoter gene, which only allows GAL4 to be produced in certain tissues. So you could have a line that's only produced in the gut, while another line might only be produced in the brain or pretty much anywhere you want. Um, so if the promoter is active, then GAL4 is expressed. But if the promoter is inactive, then GAL4 won't be expressed and the GAL4 protein won't be produced. So then you have your reporter or UAS line, and the UAS line has a UAS region next to the gene that the researchers want to study called the reporter gene. And a common reporter gene is GFP or green fluorescent proteins, where when GFP is activated, it causes the cells to glow. And UAS is all over the inside of the fly, but it can only be activated if it's bonded with a GAL4 protein. So next, the researchers cross the two lines and they get a fly that has both GAL4 and UAS. And in most cells in the fly's body where the promoter is inactive, nothing's going to happen. But in the cells where the promoter is active and allowing the GAL4 gene to produce the GAL4 protein and the UAS gene is present, GAL4 is going to bond to UAS, which is going to trigger the expression of whatever gene is act attached to the UAS. So that's going to tell the researchers exactly where their target gene is being expressed within the fly.